Welcome to this week's uh, FIFA 12 Ultimate Team Vodcast. We are back. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. After a, a little hiatus. Oh, complicated Latin word. That's a that's a good start. What does it mean? Uh, literally, I'm mean, not. Literally, uh, hiya means when you're uh, busy doing karate, and uh, tus is the act of I don't know. I think it's doing karate to do other things. Yeah, exactly. In your yeah. case, in Mexico. Exactly that, which is where I was on on holidays. In, uh, in, in yes, it was nice. And then I was in the UK after that, meeting people uh, who are playing things like FIFA Street, which obviously completely nice. relevant to this to this particular thing. But it was good, and uh, I had lots of good times there. But obviously, been in the UK, divorces you slightly from microphones and laptops. Yes. And uh, and now we're back reunited. Amateur video making. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's get cracking on uh, this week's uh, team of the week. All right. Um, wasn't there a couple of things that you wanted to talk about beforehand? Though? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. I, why would I, I respect I the agenda? We talked about it before, but so let's talk about two I'll things. I'll entertain the viewers by moving my mouse around. Nice. Um, just to make it like Ooh. you actually are watching a video. Uh, so I actually wanted to talk about the uh, contest that's going on right now first. So it's kind of something new that we're doing. Oh. If you've been... In fact, can you move the page maybe? There is a page where you okay, can check. Yes. Oh, magic. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of fat contest. So, so the URL. You, were came on out, you weren't talking about Queen. You were talking about Madonna and Elton John. Yeah. And uh, how you one of your favorite films of all time is now Romeo and Juliet. It's, it's not of all time. I think it was a good, cu- cute movie. And my, my, my three-year-old son liked it too. So it's, uh, really? Liked, was he yeah. actually there? Was he? Yeah. Was this? Yeah, really. Okay. Anyway. So f- from Gnonio yes. and Juliet to the Fat Contest. Yeah. Um, so the URL you're looking at is Fat Promos. If you type it in your browser, you'll land here. And basically, we'll always explain the latest and greatest of what we're doing in Fat. So what we want to do for you guys, and the reason why we wanted to talk about it on the Vertcast, is, uh, you know, just for playing Fat, just from getting packs, either coins or money, you're yeah. getting entered uh, if you're in the UK, uh, to uh, gain real stuff like match tickets, so you can yep. actually and and sign jerseys, you can go see. Then uh, what is it? You can go see CD, uh, so CD shirt and CD tickets. Uh, Newcastle, city. yes, is, not Stoke City, no. for Manchester, example, or mm-hmm. any other city. Uh, <laughs> A random city. Yeah, Manchester City, Newcastle. We got Arsenal. Uh, yeah, Chelsea and, and Chelsea. Yeah. Um, signed shirt, so signed by the whole team. Which is a nice price in anyone's book. Even if you don't like the team, they'll be good on eBay. That's yeah, what nice. I would do anyway. I, pr- I shouldn't have said that, should Maybe I? Maybe not. Um, anyway, they're Keep very good. Them. Yes, and uh, if you're not in the UK and listening to this uh, vodcast, then know that you can still win. You'll be entered for a chance to win uh, 100,000 coins. 100,000 coins is not to be sniffed at either. No. Um, so uh, there's a point I want to make about this particular contest. Yes. And that is... Uh, you get entered into this draw where you could win a shirt, you could wear a pair of tickets if mm-hmm. you're in the UK, or you could win 100,000 coins if you're anywhere in the world, um, if you buy a gold pack, any kind of gold pack. If you buy one, you're in the draw. However, if you buy another one, you're in the draw again. Yes. So if you buy 10, you've got 10 entries, and you could win this stuff. So um, I'm not sure people are aware of that anyway, uh, which is you can enter this thing as many times as you like if you pick up a gold pack. Yeah, and you'll be uh, and names will be picked randomly by uh, yeah. uh, the dedicated hand of How a piece of code. Oh, it's going to be it, oh, it'll be actually properly random then. Yeah, the magic the of machine will electricity do it. running through a machine. Oh, okay, I thought it'd just be you know like the marketing director or something pulling a name no, out. Like, of like in like in Tron, he will enter the PC and pick the names and get back out. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, it could be, it could be anything. Nice. That's how we do stuff here. Or we could we could attach each name to a rubber duck and throw it down the local <coughs> river, um, and <coughs> you know, hook them out, see whichever one's first. <coughs> nice. There are a number of things that we could do. Absolutely. Unfortunately, uh, that creativity and invention is out the window, and actually, what's going to happen is a piece of boring computer code. At least it'll be random and yep. therefore trustworthy. Tron will pick the winners. It's awesome. So that's for the contest. Expect yeah. more. And this is running till uh, February the seventeenth. By the way, so. Yeah. Uh, Another Back thing, yes, uh, I wanted to mention about players, player transfers and upgrades. So we had said originally we would stop on the 3rd, February 3rd, but, you know, we still had a few to go through. There's been a lot of uh, players on our, uh, on our, on our lists. And uh, so what we're doing is, um, you know, by the time you listen to this podcast, you should have known about it. So this uh, coming team of the week, so we're talking about this 
Wednesday, the uh, whatever date that is, and eighth. we the eighth, and yes. we will um, actually release a few more upgrades uh, and a few more transfers, or actually quite a lot more. I think the upgrades I did fifty or more, and also a few players whose weight was at zero until now for various reasons, and have played decently or have moved into clubs we can feature, and they're going to be coming back to life. Back to reality. So that is really cool. Wow. You, see, you will see the list on the forums. So, so that's the place to look. Does that, in, does that include Paul Scholes? Nope. Yeah, no. I know. We answered that question last time, actually. Yeah. People keep asking me. I keep, so, they keep asking someone, me too. Someone even put it in capital letters. Nice. All capital letters. So, will, and I think his wording was, will you finally tell us whether Paul Scholes is coming back? How many times have we got to that? We can't. No, we cannot. I'd so love to. If he's still playing next year, he's going to be in future iterations, maybe. But uh, for the purpose of this cycle and this title and uh, you playing for yeah. 12, he cannot. We cannot add players from scratch. But there are plenty of other ginger players. Yes, you can. That you can <laughs> play slot with. into that position yes. if you like, if that's what you want. Or any anyway. of those informs. Let's go on to uh, the team of the week now. Yes. Uh, let's start with the goalkeeper position, Villarreal. Yes. Nice increase, 86. What is it in there? Diego Lopez. It was unbeatable against Sevilla, according to our notes. Um, so basically, he was actually, uh, he had to work uh, the result. He made 10 saves. It's not, it's, it's, it's not something we can't really. I know in, in American sports, they count every single stat and stuff. In football, you know, goalkeepers, we usually don't count the saves. You, one save can make a whole game like DGR, yeah. DGR saves against uh, Indeed, Chelsea. Yeah. Um, but he was a bit more industrious, had a lot more saves to do, 10 of them. And uh, that's a nice 86 increase for the yellow submarine keeper. And uh, we have uh, Ramos next. Let's go on to Ramos. 87 right back. Nicely done. Um, there we go. So actually, he's placed our right back on, on, on our image, and he should be centre backs. Ooh. Have you? Oh, it's Ooh. wrong again, is it? We Maybe. keep doing this. I assure you. I, I actually, I'm, I'm assuring them. I don't know if this is true or not. Um, he will be in the right place come yep. the time of the t actual team. Uh, ignore this video. <laughs> we, we know you do anyway. Nice. So yeah. But yeah, uh, the, the matter of the fact, he's 87 now, and he's, um, he's a bit lower than his Team of the Year version. So he's a player, so that's one of those where the Team of the Year is always going to stay on top of everything you can get from him. So now it, it's a regular in form. His Team of the Year, I think, was 91. But here, what he did is uh, secure, uh, he scored a goal. Uh, Getafe, uh, Real Madrid um, didn't score a lot this time, only one goal. Uh, but it was 1-0 and uh, win away. And um, clean sheet as well. So Sergio Ramos did everything. Scoring, defending. Done. Well done, you. Let's move on to this chap. Mr. Kale. Mr. Kale. It is a, oh, wow. We're jumping position. Defensive midfielder. Uh, Dortmunds. Really looking like the side they were last year. Um, so another, you know, short 1-0 win. Uh, but good enough to take the lead in Germany. And so there you go. And yeah, I'm sniffling. Yeah. In case you heard, that's me sniffling. As I'm a bit, well, um, I'll get a bit of a cold, which obviously, Rom, you're going to have soon now. Yes, thank you very much. It's Beautiful. very enjoyable to be sat with you in this unventilated meeting room. Nice. I'm going to sneeze soon. Uh, let's move on Excellent. to the next bit before, uh, before I, I catch the, the plague or something weird. Yes, indeed. They uh, beat Nuremberg, by the way. 1-0. Uh, and so we go two, into two, a right? centre-back position. The first goal. I'm just correcting you on the fly here, just to make sure that we are factually accurate. I, and I, I looked it up before we came in here, basically, is what I'm saying. Nice. Sebastian scored the first in their 2 0 victory over ah, Nuremberg. There was a That's second goal. Ooh. There was. Uh, it's a bit deceptive, isn't it? Our little notes here. Anyway, now we've got. Javi Martinez. That's his name. That's his real name. And, um, Up to 85. Yeah, playing for the Basque club, uh, Bilbao. And, uh, you know, great in defense, scored a goal. Against and Espanol. That's it. And that's, that's enough. enough. Yeah, yeah. Boosh. Next. Giovinco. Giovinco. Placed in a funny position on our uh, uh, on the formation that we have here, but when you get him in pack, he's going to be a centre attacking midfield. Don't don't be afraid. Um, <laughs> it's all over the place, Christoph. What's going on? It is. Eh? It is very. It, it, it is fun. Never mind. His stats are his stats, and that's all anyone cares about. Yes. So he scored against uh, that was Verona. Uh, I see, and he has a nice increase, and he had a great game, and uh, that's uh, Sebastian Giovinco for you. He is the single reason that I play so very much with Palmer online. 
He's lightning. Look at that, 93. Yep. It, he, oh, he's brilliant. He skins everybody when you go up against him. Oh, not, not that pace is overwhelmingly important, is it? You're a pace abuser, and I know. And oh, I yes. know how yes, to. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bedimo. Um, interesting, uh, uh, Bedimo. So he's, he had a great game for Montpellier. So, you know, in the end of the season, likely the whole Montpellier team would have been in form at some point because they are the only ones who are able to catch up with PSG in France. Yeah. And they have just, is they are the opposite of PSG. They have cheap players, young players, and they are all doing great. So now we have uh, Benimo from 73 to 80 as a left back. Uh, uh, playing great uh, on the, uh, the left side of the defense then. Yeah. And um, the funny thing is that once this team of the week version is deactivated, so a, a, a reminder, it's from Wednesday to Wednesday. So next yeah. Wednesday is going to return to his regular version. Only it's going to be an upgraded version. Because in the meantime, it's been upgraded as well because it's been doing so well. So okay. basically... The basic here, you're going to see a new version of him anyway once his Team of the Week version is out. Lower than the Team of the Week version, obviously. But still good, because he's really Clear good. Clear as mud. Yes, exactly. Now, who who did they Next. play against? Next, Montpellier. They played against Brest. Oh, I said it with an English accent. That would be uh, Brest. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Who'd <laughs> call that town Matt? I made him say Brest. Uh, the <laughs> <coughs> anyway... Pjanic, I don't know how to say his name. Miralem Pjanic, yes, yeah. he actually came from my club originally. He came from Metz before moving to Lyon and then to Ice Roma. So really proud to see him in Team of the Week. And um, for a great performance with a destroyed Inter. Um, for Neo. For Neo. And he had a pass completion rate of 96%. So that's very uh, Javi-like. Yeah, and, it and, is. It, and it's great to see him uh, you know, perform at high level as uh, the, all the expectations were when he was uh, playing for my club. Yeah. And um, so he's 82 rated, and um, he, and he's not the only Roma players. Later on, we'll see a, a new one, and you see a, a pretty nice sweet increase in passing. 88 passing, sweet. That's got a bit good. By the um, way, I have, I have uh, his signed jersey on my desk in case uh, do you? anyone is interested. Uh, I'm not selling him though. Jankovic. Yeah, uh, he plays for Genoa. What is with all these Italian players? There you go. And uh, two goals and an assist. That's we know it. win over Lazio. You yeah. know, since CC left and got insulted through Twitter, Lazio is not the same. I don't know, but yeah, uh, somebody said. Uh, no, pff, there was weird uh, stuff going on on uh, Gibril CC's Twitter okay. after he left uh, Lazio yeah. to go to uh, QPR. Whatever, idiots. Anyway, uh, but hey, Lazio wasn't the better for it, so obviously, because the last ten great game for Miankovic then and uh, center attacking midfield position. Up to H two. We got Nene. Of midfield, we have this chap. Nene, which is also a um, um, s- French uh, kind of kiddish slang for breast as well. So it would be hilarious if Nene played for the for town. Breast. Obviously, is what you're saying. Yeah, ah, we, ah, ah, yeah. If we were saying I am else. not referring to uh, to anything other than than, than the town. Um, yeah. So PSG, we've been talking about them high spending and stuff, but it's one of their players that came here last season without the big spending. That is performing really well on the new boss on Chelo team. Uh, yeah. Two goals, uh, and they won three one uh, coming back from behind, and it was the first game of Thiago Motas, by the way. Uh, okay. He had a decent game, yeah, but Nene had, had the best of the game. Not not good enough for the team of the week then, Mota. Mota not yet. No, not well, yet. Well, keep trying. We yes. know you've got it in you. Hold on for one more day. Yeah. Cisse just moved to uh, Newcastle, he did. And, and and guess what? Another ex player from Mets. That's crazy. Really? I didn't notice You're this. You're feeding the world with quality players. Piani can see in the same team of the week. It's pretty sweet. I didn't influence that at all. I swear. I didn't. Yeah, right. And, uh, but he had a great start uh, for, for Newcastle. I actually saw him play back when we were in second division. I saw him play like seven years ago. And I didn't find him good at all at that time. <laughs> um, well, obviously, he's made a lot of progress and he had great seasons. Uh, last season with Metz was actually really good. Freiburg, good. And uh, Newcastle joining Dembaba. Yeah, and uh, it looks like they're going to have a, a nice partnership up there. Although, as a Liverpool fan, obviously, I'm, I'm hoping that he maybe repeats his form uh, uh, like when you saw him. B- okay. But we'll see. Oh, nice. Look, looking good, though, for Newcastle, I suppose. Uh, and finally, in our starting lineup. Yes, indeed, we have uh, Mr. Walcott. So now there's a reason we have actually two Arsenal players in this team of the week, and none of them are Van Persie. There is a reason for it. It's we upgraded permanently Van Persie to an 88 right, right. before he scored his hat-trick. 
And, uh, no, but now that he is an 88, one of the top uh, strikers in the game, uh, we have high expectations for him. And maybe maybe hat trick weeks, especially right after he receives a in permanent increase in the game, are not going to be enough for him to be super in form over like 89 or 90. So uh, we'll He's follow him. That's yeah, what you're doing. La- that's pretty much what we're doing. So uh, I know the question is going to come, and that's the reasoning. So, however, Walcott was a provider, was a, yeah. was a great animator in the 7 1 win, 7 1. And, um, you know, with assists uh, uh, at the end. So, 85 rated with a 97 pace. It's ridiculous, isn't oh, it? Wow. He, um, he is officially the fastest player in the game, I think. He's, he's as fast as one other guy whose name I can't remember. Yeah, you know what? Um, you're, you're kind of uh, giving me a hard one to answer here. I, 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 I think, think that's, there might that's be the a truth. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's the, there's, he's the joint fastest player in the game. So, if you are. Uh, he's, um, he's the bolt of uh, Ultimate Team. Yes, indeed, and uh, you know Theo Wolbold. That That's means his name. He's better than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you play, if in, you're a, a pace abuser, way. which you seem to be, boo. Yeah. Well, really? So quickly, let's go through the the sub. So quick doesn't mean they play bad. It's just we're going. So the Egyptian uh, Zidane, who I'm pretty sure is very sad with what happened in his country. By the way, message to all the victims or, and the families. It was terrible at poor side. Yeah. Um, terrible, terrible. But you know. Uh, Mohamed Zidane, Egyptian, playing for Mainz now, uh, kind of coming back to a German first uh, league play, uh, and uh, he had a great game. It's called a, a beautiful volley. Next, uh, Next. we have Borini. So I was saying, scored goals in the routes of Inter. He scored two. Well done. And, and he's a top silver now. Nice. It's, yeah, he's worth having. Uh, and we've got uh, you, you say it. <laughs> I was waiting for you, Sehas. Uh, playing for Pachuca. Yes. Pachuca. Good name. Uh, Mexican team. Um, bit of a crazy win. 0 3 2 4 3, and he was instrumental in that. That's great. Yes, nice work. Great story. Uh, and Oxley Chamberlain. So a lot of you will be waiting for him. Uh, 69 rating by default, and now he's 74. Uh, top silver with a bit of a silly pace as well. So yeah. obviously, uh, no permanent increase for him just yet. We're waiting for him to be uh, featured more often. Like Wenger has been using him sparsely. So that's. But now you have an informed version of him yeah. that you can cherish. Absolutely, the the, the Southampton Youth Brigade, uh, along with Walcott, obviously. We were just yeah, no, absolutely, about you're correct. Continues. So it's uh, it's. Southampton, you said that's the team they. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, between Mets and Southampton, we well, two like kind of formative clubs that are like fighting each other. And Seems team other like way. it. It's pretty cool. Sigerson, uh, one of those just transferred as well, and Pam impact right away, just like uh, Mr. Cisse, uh, playing for Swansea. Welcome to the subs bench. Drop and uh, we have Mr. Drobny. He's kind of getting old. He doesn't look happy. Where should we be happy for Hamburg? He's in goal. Team of the week. Where's he from? Rating. Czech Republic. We've just got the Czech license in our uh, future FIFA games. Oh, we really? announced that today, actually, as we're recording this. Nice. Um, the uh, the Czech national team is now a part of FIFA. And official. I would say it's nice. It's nice to have the Czech mate. <laughs> yes, and uh, the final Moving player. On. Yep. Oh, do you want to pr- please, please, please pronounce it? Uh, Schenkenveld. Nice. That's. I think that basically, oh. if I had said that in his home country. That's pretty cool. That was that was that would be they an insult. They would have thought I was one of them. Yeah, you. They would have been like, "Did you just call me a SpongeBob Squid Smurf?" And it would Sp- be a what? Huh? That's what it means in Dutch. Schenkeveld. I don't know why I just went back to the previous guy. By the way. I yeah, was, no, that was weird. That was, was the so surprise. Shocked. Yeah, that was the surprise. Like, let's move away from Schenkeveld for a second. Yeah. Uh, playing. Um, what's his new club? I guess his new club is Excelsior. And um, Schenkeveld scored two goals. Nice. From defense. Yeah. And now he's a top bronze player. Uh, so, again, one of those great bronze players to have in defense. There you go. That's our team of the week. That is our team of the week. So, I hope you enjoy. Uh, available for one week. So, don't forget, again, by the time you, you are listening to this, you should know already the last of the upgrades um, players that were reactivated and transfers will be along with our team of the week. So, there's going to be a lot of new stuff to look out for. Uh, during this week of FUT and don't yep. forget the contest yeah FUTpromos.com check it out there'll be more stuff on that over the uh, coming weeks and months and I uh, we'll hope to do lots of interesting things on there but right now you can win stuff for doing basically nothing so Yay. make sure that uh, you check that out to, to 
uh, to know what's going on, and, and uh, we'll obviously keep you up to date with anything on this podcast. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, see you guys, and uh, talk to you next week then. Bye. See you next time.